Hello friends and family of YouTube. The video I'm showing you today was filmed a couple of months ago over in Ringgold, Georgia. And uh, me and a friend Virgil was over there filming. And uh, I noticed while I was editing the footage today that I didn't even get the model number of this camper. And uh, like I said, it's full of uh, bloopers on this video, but we had a great time. If you are interested in this uh, particular camper, you can go to Keystone rv.com and look at all of the uh arcadia this is an arcadia model so uh you can look at it there and be able to get the specs on it and uh model numbers and all that great stuff but until then here's the footage from a couple of months ago hope you enjoy hello friends and family of youtube man i got something cool to show you today this thing is so awesome. I got I got Virg with me today too. Check him out. Hello, you too. Virgil told me he don't want his wife to see this, so I don't think she watches my channel anyway. But uh, hey, that's 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 how good this one is. Is that he does not want his wife to see it. But the good news is you probably need a new truck to pull it. So <laughs> you can get a new truck if she gets a new new uh, camper. It don't work that way. Though. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, anyway, I'll show you around outside and then we'll go inside and uh, show you what's going on there. We're going to have a little bit of road noise for a little bit, but once we get inside, there's no road noise in there. All right, this particular unit is already wired for a uh, rear camera. You've got 50 amp hookup on the back. Also, if you notice, it does have a uh, hitch set up back there so that if you want to put uh extra storage on a on through your hitch let me show you what's going on in this back door back here virtual notice this check this out got a little peg to where you could have this could be your uh, workshop uh, on the road so you've got your pegs put you some peg hooks hang some stuff on there pretty cool don't know that you would ever use that but it's kind of neat that they at least thought about it but uh you've got a uh, Dual axle on here, Trailer King tires, and right here is where your uh, dump station would uh, hook up. And uh, it does have four stabilizer jacks. There's your jack system right there. And it's got four of those. And let's uh, take you around to the front side. Got an electric tongue jack, two batteries. Uh, for your tray will hold about two batteries. You've also got two propane tanks and that red switch over there That is a cutoff switch and the good of that is that saves your batteries when you are just sitting still You notice this thing has three slides. It's got two on the other side one slide out over here You've also got an awning that will come out and uh, cover your speakers and your doorway and the good of that is, man, when you're coming and going in and out of that door, it's nice to have, uh, have it where it covers over the door as well. So let's go inside and see what's going on. We're going to start in the very front of the camper and work our way towards the rear of the camper. We are in the bedroom and we are facing the very front. And in here you've got a... Uh, place where you can hang your clothing. You've also got doors that will slide across. And I will show you some close-ups right now. And here in a few moments, I will show you a view of the entire camper from one end to the other. That way you get close-ups and you also get far away distant shots as well. So you see on each side of the bed, you do have windows on each side also got a little bit of storage. Mert, you mind opening those cabinets? Let me show them what uh, what we got on some storage for the for the master bedroom area. Ain't no fan of white, but he does the job good, don't he? <laughs> All right, we got we got another uh, storage area right here, and right above that, it is pre-wired for your TV as well, so you can put a TV either resting on that or mount it to the wall. And you've also got a uh, window that's facing out from the foot area of the bed. Oh yeah, and Virgil noticed this while ago. I thought that's pretty cool, yeah. So uh, yeah, she can sit right there and read a book or whatever, store some junk underneath it. All right. Notice I didn't say Virgil would sit there and read a book. I said she, as in his wife. She's a school teacher. She's educated. 
so uh this thing must have solar and uh you know we've got the lights on in here but you know what verge there was not a battery outside so there must be another battery there be an internal battery somewhere i can't imagine that the solar would operate these lights but Hey, we're, we're having a, a brain moment here <laughs> trying to figure out how these lights are operating without a without a battery huh got us confused all right so moving on so we've got the uh we're going towards the uh headed towards the rear we're still up on the front section of the camper but you can see that it does have a porcelain toilet so those are a little easier to keep clean than the plastic ones. If you notice in some campers, you do have plastic, some you have uh, porcelain. By the way, I don't work for the company that makes these or sells these. I show you these campers as I see them, good and bad. Pretty cool looking shower head. I don't know if it's really worth all that or not, but it does have a shut off switch up there at the top. That way you can uh, shut that off in between lathering and getting, getting wet and you can save some of your water. Might want to do an upgrade right here on this fan. These fans are uh, not worth the money. So uh, I would always advise you doing an upgrade. You got sliding doors for the shower as well. That's pretty sweet. And you've got a little bit of storage beside the shower as well. You can put you some towels. You can put your underwear or whatever you need to. And you do have a vent right there, but the good of it is, is it's a little bit out of the way and away from the toilet, but it is going to blow you a little bit of cold air on you as you're in the shower. You got a little bit of storage down below your uh, kitchen or uh, bathroom sink, and you've got a mirror there that is not a storage type uh, situation. It's just a mirror only. Okay, so now we're going to show you the uh, living and dining kitchen area, and there is the door, and we are looking uh, towards the dinette. That is a nice dinette set, and I like the way that they got windows all the way around to give you plenty of lighting, and uh, got these seats. These are the Thomas Paine seats and if you've ever sat in those you know that they are comfortable they do have uh vibrating chairs and uh all that kind of good stuff going on these so and the cup holders in there Wireless charging cable. that's Wireless right charging. so you can charge your uh charge your cell phone just with it laying in that little tray right there which is pretty cool virgil i want you to show the uh feature that you that you showed me that i i didn't catch on to right fast isn't that cool so i like that because really if you were to sit at this table you would be bumping elbows let's let's face it i mean that, that table set up just and that's the way it is in all campers it's not just this particular one i'm not trying to pick on them but uh it is what it is if i had four people eating i would say hey two of you's got to sit over there that's that's just too crowded but uh anyway that's pretty neat it's got little two uh, two switches under there that you undo and let it back down. Oh, while wow. while you had it up, didn't we notice that it had uh, uh, it's USB ports and plugs and plugs. But if you lift it up, I think there's one up underneath there as well. There's something under there. What is that? I believe that's your CO2 mic. Okay, yeah. Got to make sure you ain't got CO2 going on here. All right, so uh, again, you've got the Thomas Paine collection. Those chairs will kick back and, uh, man, really get relaxing. Now, I tell you what, I did sit on this couch, and I was not I was not real sold on it, but the good of it is it does make into somewhat of a bed, and uh, I think it, I think you grab it. In the, there you go, in that section. Yeah, but... There you go, folks. Now I'm sure I'm sure there's more to it than that, but uh, that's what he found out. Yeah, here's some legs. It's got legs that you uh, you let down. So once you let the legs down, there you go. Go ahead and do that. Let's see what that's all about. See, I don't normally have somebody with me to do this kind of stuff, so we don't get to see uh, how this plays out. <laughs> there you go. All right. You just put that up against the back. Well, I'd hate to be the one that has to sleep on the crack. <laughs> I guess that what you should do in this situation is probably bring uh, bring you some of that foam, like a roll of foam mattress type stuff. 
lay it across there. It wouldn't be too bad. It's a pretty good size bed. I guess it'd be either a full or a queen, something like that. And one thing me and Virgil noticed is how slick this thing is. I mean, I'm afraid I'd actually just slide right out of there. As I try to sit, I'm constantly sliding down. It reminds me of being at grandma's house when I was a kid at uh, all, she had a, a couch like that. Boy, you get hot and sweaty because they didn't have air conditioning. Oh, no. Man, you'd stick to that thing, and when you get up, you go. Put <laughs> <laughs> your skin with it. <laughs> yeah. All right. So uh, up above, you got some storage up here as well. Let's see uh, how big these are. They sit back probably about I don't know 14, 16 inches, something like that. And uh, hey, I have not talked about the lighting, but man, I tell you what, they've got some pretty, pretty nice lighting in here. And uh, you got this one right over the bar, and then there's that one right over the uh, kitchen table. But um, over here, you've got a pretty decent entertainment center. You've got a good size TV. That's probably 42 inch, you think, Bert? Something like it. And uh, this is a, a faux gas fireplace, but it does, I say faux gas, as in it's fake gas. It's not a real gas, it's just a. Uh, kind of a light that goes in there, but it does produce heat somewhat. So I don't think you can really heat this whole camper with it, but it does put out a little bit of heat. And right behind Virgil's a, a uh, what do you call that? Uh, pantry food pantry yeah. storage. Yeah. So you got plenty of Pulling plenty of storage. Yeah. And you've got a uh, got an electrical outlet in there. Hmm. Probably a good place to be coffee, coffee break, coffee break. There you go. Yeah. Okay. You could probably strap it down, Velcro it or whatever. Hey, look over the uh, microwave. I bet that is made for wine bottles. You see what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, yeah, you got plenty of storage there. You got a uh, three burner cooktop and uh, also um, got an oven down here as well. This is something I've not seen before, but that's not a bad idea. Is put bubble wrap in here so that you don't have all that rattling noise. Like if, you, if you're in an enclosed RV and you're riding down the road and you've got all that rattling noise going on, most of it's coming from that right there. So that's yeah, pretty sweet, okay. So anyway, you've got some uh, pull out drawers here. They've got four of them down below. Got one beside the microwave and this one, wow. it's a spice drawer, pulls out and uh, it's better than the Spice Girls, ain't it? Spice drawer. All right, and you've got a uh, refrigerator-freezer combo made by Norcold. Pretty good size uh, refrigerator. I could definitely live in this, and I see why Virgil said he would not want his wife to see this one because they are gonna be building a house and staying in a camper while they are waiting. Now, this uh, cabinet system here, I, don't, I hope that this shows up on the video, but that is clear plexiglass up there. Now, one thing I would not like about it is if you had cereal boxes and all that stuff in there, it would look kind of tacky. So to me personally, I would rather them just gone ahead and made a standard uh, cabinet right here as opposed to that plexiglass. I, I don't see a benefit. Am I missing something, Virgil? Well, yeah, people buy this ain't poor. Yeah, they, they, they ain't gonna have catalogs up in there. Is that what you're thinking? Yeah. And uh, they got uh, a few drawers uh, here as well. And this is a faux drawer. And uh, I believe that's probably gonna be your water heater behind that panel. So, uh, anyway, I don't believe I showed. Put it on the yeah on the island here yeah so you've got some four, four doors and and i guess that's a waste can doors, yeah. yeah and you've got a house yeah. yeah with a cutting board yeah got your uh sink faucet that uh move around and do all this good tricks and you got some more storage here as well i know uh, i know y'all would like for me to give you a far view uh, of this island, but I can only back up so far if you notice it's only three feet away. So uh, Less than three feet probably so I'm not able to show you this island as well as I'd like to but uh, it's like a faux marble top under this uh, Under this little illustration thing here, but uh, 
storage behind the TV. Oh yeah, yeah, show all that, Birch. So yeah, behind the TV, this is where you hide your, your guns and money right here. And it's on trucks. Yeah, so it helps uh, lift that easier for you and, and uh, lower it back down as well. I like that they put two of them on there. I would have expected them to cut a corner and just put one. And there's a little latch down there as well that you can latch that, I just noticed. Right, yeah. So so anyway, we got our back to the uh, to the very rear of the camper. We we're facing towards the front, and uh, that is the bedroom that we were into earlier, and I'll go ahead and walk back in there again and show you a viewpoint from from the front facing towards the rear. pretty long unit I can't remember if it's 27 or 30 I don't know it may be more than that foot long but uh, anyway there we are facing towards the rear that is pretty nice pretty pretty nice layout got plenty of room and the good of it is it doesn't have a lot of a lot of beds taking up space like bunks or whatever so if it was a uh, just a husband and wife that wanted to live quiet and luxury, I would think this would be a, a better way to go. You can still have some visitors come stay with you from time to time, but you don't have to worry about a lot of folks wanting to go camping with you. And this thing weighed close to 10,000? Something like 95 that. 95 or 97 empty. Yeah, yeah, that's with no water and no batteries, but anyway, pretty sweet. Folks, y'all have to let me know down below in the comments what y'all thought about this particular camper. Uh, I, I call it a camper, but some of you may call it a home. <laughs> I know I could live in this thing. It's pretty sweet. Folks, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know if there's some campers you would like for me to get a video of, and I'll try to at my next uh, visit to... Uh, any of these dealerships today i'm over at northgate rv i appreciate them letting us do some footage today y'all check them out see y'all bye-bye